I'm Kyle. And I'm Michelle, and we're the Wandering Shores. Valley of the Fire State Park, just outside Las Vegas, Nevada. We are excited to be here with our friends Rick and Teresa, so we're going to go check out many of the trails and a lot of the sites. There's some amazing hiking here and some uh, pull-offs along the road as well, too, that we can check out. So uh, we'll take you with us. Michelle, any words of wisdom on Valley of the Fire State Park? No, but we have a good plan, so um, this should be a pretty good video. We have stops that are already planned out um, so we can see all the sites. So if you've watched our videos long enough, whenever I defer to Michelle and ask her if she's got any words of wisdom, she always says no and then proceeds to tell us something. So <laughs> get used to it. Thanks. <laughs> So we're on our first hike. Um, this is one that I must have found somewhere on somebody's YouTube channel. I uh, had it listed on my Google map, but I'm not sure because it's not on all trails. So this section is called Pastel Canyon or Pink Pastel Canyon Trail. As we came in that way, it was uh, listed the Seven Wonders Trail to Fire Wave. So I'm not sure if maybe it's listed that way in all trails and I just didn't realize it. But yeah, it's pretty cool in here. Let me show you what we see. At the right time of day, this would really light up. Right now it's pretty early in the morning. It's only probably about 9, 9.30 in the morning. So. Uh, the sun isn't hitting this main uh, section of the canyon yet, but um, it is gorgeous. There's the rest of the crew. I want to take you through the main part of Pastel Canyon here. We did some posing along the rocks. We'll insert the photos right here. So as most of you guys know, I don't actually have a drone, but I decided I'm going to pretend like I do. So here we go. trail of the day white domes there's been numerous videos i'm sorry movies filmed here uh so i'll read a few of them good sun the breakdown star trek generations beastmaster when fools rush in one million years bc stephen king's the stand kill me again fatherhood ballad of cable hogue and the professionals and we're actually going to see for the professionals and we're gonna have to look that up because i don't know most of those but with the professionals uh parts of the movie set are still along this trail so uh we'll see what we find Hiking not recommended. Well, we're going to hike anyway. Um, today is only going to supposed to be about 78 degrees. So it's a beautiful, perfect day for a hike. This is 1.25 mile loop. Uh, says it's moderate challenging. Elevation change is about 108 feet. So it's pretty doggone flat. So we like to see those types. So we made it to the spot where the uh, remnants of the old uh, movie, The Professionals, which was, I believe, filmed in 1965, is. And this is... 
part of what they had as the Hacienda. And let me take you over here and show you a quick photo of what it looked like back in the 60s when they first were using it for filming. I don't know how uh, well that's going to come out, but uh, it's pretty cool. So we made it to the area of the slot canyons here on white domes. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they say um, from some reviews I saw that you should hike this loop clockwise. It makes the descent um, down the steepest part a little bit easier and then the ascent on the far side of the loop will be much more gradual. Again, there's only like 150, 200 feet of elevation gain so it's not that big but they did say to hike it clockwise. we made it back to the trailhead yeah definitely we recommend hiking it clockwise the climb back up to the parking lot was much more gradual than the initial uh, drop down when you first hit the trailhead and uh, it's a lot of fun so we're going to hang out here for a little bit and eat our lunches that we packed and enjoy the beautiful weather here at Valley of the Fire so State Park hiking fire wave trail as you can see right. amazing rock formations Unfortunately, there is a ton of people up there as well, including Michelle and Rick and Teresa. But uh, we're right here at the end of the trail and then it changes into Seven Wonders Trail. So I don't know if we'll hike, hike on um, or not, but uh, it's beautiful. Thought we'd show you guys the uh, pretty rock formation behind us. Look at the waves. Michelle, any words of wisdom? It's pretty. It's pretty. That's all I got for you today, folks. At Laddle Rock. Here we are. So there's some petroglyphs up here at the top of these stairs. So we figured we'd come and check this out. This is, uh, you know, it's not even really a hike. It's more like a stop and see. So I wanted to show you quickly. So we're going to climb to the top and see all the petroglyphs that are on the side of this rock face. So pretty excited to see. Maybe it'll give us an indication why they call it at Laddle Rock. So Teresa just pointed out that one of the petroglyphs looks like the symbol they use for a dump station for RVs. <laughs> kind of does. Could be. Uh, could be. Michelle, did you want to give some uh, 411 on atlatls? Come on over. Why don't you tell everybody what an atlatl is? No, Kyle's your man to tell you about the atlatl. <laughs> so I explained to her that it was a stick they used for hunting and that it was much like a spear. And so she proceeds to tell me, oh, so they just threw the atlatls at this rock. Then I explained to her again what the atlatl was. And then she says, oh, so they used the atlatls to carve the petroglyphs. I said, no, they used a rock to carve into the other rock. So uh, this is why she is not giving any more helpful tips, tips on this uh, current section of the trip. Our last stop on the way out of the park, Elephant Rock. Tell me if you can see it. I definitely can see the resemblance. Pretty cool rock formation, Elephant Rock, Fire Valley State Park.